Hey guys, my name is Rudy, and today we're going to continue our discussion on the Oculus Rift S. So, we had a bunch of issues, and what we came up with is the best way to get this thing to work is off of your NVIDIA video card, like mine is the 2070 Super. The way you can actually get it to work is this tiny little USB port. This is a USB-C. In order for our device, Oculus device to work, we need a USB-A, which are the connectors that are on this thing here. Here we are. So we've got the display port and we got a USB-3. Note the color, that's the big deal. That's what separates a USB-2 from a USB-3. So, there are many, many adapters to choose from. Choose the right one, and it will bring you hours and hours of supercomputer video game utopia. Choose the wrong one, and it will bring you hours and hours of, oh, that actually happened, hours and hours of headaches. So I went ahead and I reviewed some of these, so we're going to go over these real quick. I'm going to show you what worked for me and what did not work for me, where to get them, and other details about this. Uh, for my other videos on how to connect this, how to get your Oculus Rift to come up, uh, see my other videos, which I'll link below. First one is the Platinum PCA SQ636-3182 from Best Buy. This one worked. The only problem that I saw with this is it feels very cheap. Um, having this thing sticking out of the back of your card makes it feel very, very uh, not secure. And if you break this thing, I don't know where we'll take the hit. Not all adapters are the same. What did not work is Samsung USB. Also notice that's a regular USB jack, and that did not come up at all. My favorite from this list is Syntec over here. USB OTG cable. I like this because the fact that you plug in the cable here on this side, and the USB to here, and it gives you a little bit of movement with that cable. So if you get a little crazy when you gameplay, it should work out just fine. Next up is the BenFi. BenFi work uh, seems to be about the same as the Platinum over here. Um, these feel a little bit more sturdy and it was like three for seven dollars versus at Best Buy. This was one for like seven and something dollars. More for your buck, it works. The AU key, AU key also worked. Initially had some issues but I had to restart on this one, but this adapter also worked as well. Now here's where I screwed up. I bought this Excel, and I got all excited, because if you look on the bottom here, it's got Oculus, Oculus ready. Oh, well, I'm thinking this is awesome, and it's ready to go. Well, not really. Problem with this is, yes, it is a USB 3, but this is an HDMI, which is made for the original Oculus. So if you got the original Oculus, this is a pretty good device. I did test the USB 3 on here and it works pretty well. Next up is this USB PCIe card. This one is a FabSmart, also known as Renos. And with the driver, it lit up. However, I cannot get it to actually come up as far as the uh, Oculus. So, jury's still on this one. I'm going to use probably this setup to try to test the Windows 7 and see if I can get it to work in there. And the product to completely avoid, which is complete junk, is this Inatech. If you look at the reviews, uh, not very good. The reason I got this one was the power connector here. I figured the power connector, we should not have any problems getting that much juice out of this card. So, that one's gone. Anyway, that's a quick review. Uh, next stop will be trying to get this thing to work on Windows 7. Thanks for watching. Until next time, party on. <laughs>